Good morning, everyone. Do you have your copy yet? Has it come from the pre-orders? I've got my copy here. This is just obviously one of the few. And for those that don't have it, I was going to run through a few differences between this book and what is now available on Amazon. Yes, you can. If you haven't got it yet, you can now buy it on Amazon. But there are a couple of differences. The um, front of the book will look exactly like this. For those who ordered the pre-order, they have a little message here, a card that has been chosen for them, and also uh, I've signed the books. The preface is slightly different, and in the pre-order book, you have something quite awesome. I will show it quickly, very quickly. For those that don't have it, it is a bonus spread. I put a bonus spread in all the pre-order books. It does span one, two, three, four, five. Oh my, so many pages. Really? Quite a few pages. Didn't expect it to be that much, actually. So I did put a bonus spread in and a breakdown of how to do it for the pre-orders, and that's why they're quite special. On Amazon, it does hold all the rest of the information, which is quite a lot. We have, I'll just move to the side. We have um, information on spreads, information on each card breakdown, and also how I use it, and um, perhaps a little bit of my experience in there. It's not going to be your standard book, why? Because it's full of my life too. There are references to everything that I like. Obviously Guardians of the Galaxy slipped in there somewhere. And what else slipped in there? Quite a few bits of my life. And obviously the cards that are used in the book are my own deck. The reason why um, the deck is the way it is you will obviously have to read about the cards in uh, the lovely book, but the reason the deck is uh, transposed, if you like, to what you may use to, that's really putting me off in the background with the green screen. Um, it may be different to what you're used to, and you may think that they are back to front, but actually, these are the way the cards were originally in 1890. I do have a copy of that deck upstairs, and it smells lovely. From 1890, smells very nice. I like old stuff. So the deck now is true to the 1890 deck. And that's why the people may seem to you to face different ways. However, you can use this book to read the opposite directions if you like. All you have to do is transpose the information. So this is a book that covers um, all traditional decks. It won't cover the decks that aren't a Kipper traditional deck. and. If your deck does not follow the traditional and um, original directions of the deck, whether that be left or right, you will know by looking at yours. And also the change card, for example, the journey card. If your deck that you hold in your hand isn't exactly the same as either the 1890 deck or the 1920 deck, then you will have to use directions on your own deck. Um, but this book covers the traditional, original and proper decks. And a quick look at, you can obviously see good lady behind me, marriage there, and good gent, you see how they're facing one another. 
in a lovely auspicious. There's our main character one, main character two looks directly at me, him, and James is joining me for a meow. I'm going to leave it as that. I just want to say thank you everybody who have bought it so far. The pre-orders are closed and you, my friends, can find it on Amazon now. The Card Geek's Guide to Kipper. It's all on Amazon for you. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Bye.